Hey everyone and welcome to another GTA Online Chop Shop DLC video here on the channel. In this one I'm going to show you guys how to unlock and customize the police vehicles that have made their way into online as part of the last DLC. Yes, you heard me right. We can finally purchase and customize police vehicles in GTA Online because for the longest time Rockstar was against all of that it seemed. So on the Warstock website, if you go and try to purchase these cop cars, it will tell you that you need to accomplish some sort of task first. For the Stanier LE Cruiser, it will tell you that you have to scope out Mission Road Police Station as part of the gangbanger robbery, which you might be thinking to yourself, well, what in the world is that? Well, this is a setup mission, part of one of the three available cars to steal. If you click on the Turismo Omaggio to steal, you will then be tasked with scoping out the police station as the first mission you do. And by completing that mission, you then unlock the ability to purchase this police car. For the unmarked cruiser, in order to buy it at the buy it now price, you have to survive a 3 star wanted level for 5 minutes and then lose the cops, which is easy enough. But to buy it at the trade price, you will have to complete the gangbanger robbery as leader, which is the same mission strand as the last cop car. Just the entire thing has to be completed this time and not just the setup mission. And for the riot van, in order to just buy it, you'll have to lose a 4 or 5 star wanted level naturally which is very easy to do if you just go on a rampage, then duck into the tunnels or underground somewhere where the cops cannot get you. And if you want the discounted price, you'll have to complete the tactical gear prep mission as a leader, which is once again part of the Turismo Omaggio Steel Mission Strand. Now I will say, the most boring one out of the three cop cars is the riot van because it's a Pegasus vehicle, it has no customization, so you're kind of just left with that. The other two, however, are able to be customized, but you might be wondering, well, how do I do that if I can't take them into a mod shop? I already tried that. While they can't be customized at the LS Carmeet or Los Santos Customs, if you take these vehicles into your agency or the preferred way, the Arena Workshop, you can customize a lot of different parts about these vehicles. And one thing that's very surprising was just the amount of detail and customization that the Stanier LE Cruiser has. Aside from just general performance upgrades, you have 26 different liveries to choose from. 26 is insane! And each of them have like a different police design on them and they all look great. Then there's seven different tech array alignments you can choose from, a bunch of different searchlights, three different emergency light bar styles. I was really just blown away at the customization of this vehicle. And the reason why I say the best place to customize these is at the Arena Workshop is because you can change the headlight colors here, which is in fact the only place you can change the headlight colors on these cop cars because the only other place you could do it was the car meet, but you can't customize the cop cars at the car meet. But the headlight color changes the searchlight color also so i made mine red and it's just this gigantic blob of red light shining forward with the searchlights on because they give off so much light it almost reminds me of those modded gta4 cars with the bright lights coming off them if you guys remember those from back in the day it's just it's really cool this cop car in particular the le cruiser i think it's got to be like a gta6 car they just backported because even though this unmarked cruiser is cool looking it just doesn't have nearly as much customization or detail not even close to the amount of the le cruiser the LA Cruiser almost feels like it's part of a mod, like a mod team made it and ported over to GT Online. The only thing, the only thing I wish it did have was the body tech or armor plating so we can use it in free mode without worrying about getting blown up super easily. That's my one complaint about this car. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. I had a lot of people asking me how the cop cars were unlocked, so I figured I'd make this video really quick to clear some things up. The next video that I'm working on will be the changes and patch notes video. There's quite a few things I need to go over with that one, so definitely stay tuned. I should have it out by tomorrow. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can add these to the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.